already. So let's begin. Right. I mean, I've listened, I've literally listened to Smell of the Game like eighty times <laughs> at least. It's been out for two years at this point, so it's kind it's kind of crazy just how long it's been around. The um, first riff is just amazing. I know. Right? It's gushing. Seeing this live at Evo, or I wasn't at Evo, but gushing on stream yeah. was insane. And it's a bomb. That, that's just that. Yeah, and the vocals too. Like I feel like it's the perfect way to get that power out of their voice. Yeah. And just that pause also before the rest of the car guitar slams in. Ugh. So, smell of the game. I th I think it's. At least, yeah. I, th I think it's either S or like very top of A. Yeah. Like, cause you can just feel how hard. Like, I'm gonna go back to the part. It's just that first part. Like right after that section. So. Now. Uh, it so, just okay. pops off way too hard. All right, real quick. How are we judging uh the songs that have been around compared to the songs that haven't been around? Uh, just go go only by memory, I guess. Okay. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, so like, yes. Smell the it's going to be completely different. Yeah. So, I, I think Smell the Game is S here, probably. Yeah. S or, let's listen, we're going to have to listen to the rest of them and then see where it stacks up. So yeah. So, I have to revisit true. it. All right. And then, the right. same thing is, like, with every single one of these, it's going to be completely different when the full song drops. I know, right? I, that's that's weird to think about. True. So, I, th I guess part of the judging is going to be also off of potential, right? Yeah, exactly. Because you might, we might be getting the chorus in some. We might be getting some weird, just offshoot part. As yeah, well. yeah. All right, All right so, so souls. Soul theme. Yeah. All right. Hold on. More smell of the game first. <laughs> I think also what makes it nice is if it fits the character. Yeah. So, this one. And I like that part. Um, That's nice. Off of what we have for this one, I'd say it's probably an A tier. Maybe. Um, <laughs> Let's see. It's a little, it's a little, a little static for me to put it in A. It doesn't, you know, it's kind of the same thing. I think for what it does, it fits so perfectly. It's kind of just that very sort of rough sounding kind of thrashy mm -hmm. just metal um that being said there's no part of it that like shocks me that like makes me like kind of perk up you know what i mean yeah true true i guess it's just a standard bop you could call it um yeah i think it's like right middle of the road like it's yeah, straight benchmarks I, I, I might i might be with you on that one i, so I'm I guess we can B, also but it's like we can also change around once uh we listen to all of them see yeah um, exactly yeah. I'm so, gonna yeah. put him at B, it's kind of the benchmark right now. Yeah, I'll, pr I'll also put him at B. Right. Then Kai. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Dude, Bon Jovi right here. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. Um, okay. I'll, I'll let it finish before I tell it. Yeah. The chord chains. Okay, so that last part, I'm not too sure about. I wanna, I wanna hear more of it before I let it ruin yeah. it for me. But off of the beginning part, I'm with it. I, I'm a big fan. I like the beginning part more than that finished part. Um, that being said, I think you could absolutely take it in a cool direction. Mm -hmm. Another thing I like about it is how like Kai, you know, is a very like high. Not like high morals in a bad sense, but a very like, I guess, or like a person with high morals. And like all the lyrics in the song are like, go forth, don't look back, like under the sacred fires and stuff like that. Like it, it fits super well. And and more know, so than the lyrics than the actual with song. Don't look back. So like, I get, I, oh it's God. just a mandatory <laughs> at least state here for me. Um, Bostonius Caiathan. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say A. I'll, I'll also put it at A. I think be, 
the first end part is scaring me from putting it in this right now, but uh, I, I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm yeah. Uh, it doesn't to touch. Yeah. S S needs to give me chills. Yeah, yeah. Um, or at least get close to it. This one, it's good, and I would love to hear it during a game, but it doesn't have like that insane like perfect click. It just it's really good. That's mm. that's all I can say. It, it does have the power of some of the other ones too. Like yeah, um, exactly. I don't know. I, we'll see. May right. time. Um, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I, oh. <laughs> I, I don't hate it, but it's definitely not my thing. You're gonna be shocked by this. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think it's written cast. I like it, dude. <sighs> it's got nice chords. It fits the character, and it kind of like. Even though it's like super happy, good, lucky, some of the chords almost like the minor keys put you on edge. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's not like I, I just think it works super well. Like I know I know it's a weird one, yeah. but it fits so well. I feel like it could be. I feel like I could get old. Is the problem? Like oh, it absolutely will. It, it's pretty monotone in what it does. So I'm. Mm. I don't know. I, I'm gonna probably put it at a C. It's just not my thing. I I do think it works. That's right. That's a good point. Honestly, I think it's probably the same argument argument you can make about Souls. The only reason I put hers higher is because that's not like, that's not a style I'm used to. So for me, it's still got the novelty. Mm -hmm. I'm sure later on this won't hold, but for now, like I, I bop to it. Like I I cannot not move my head to that song. <laughs> gotcha. They're just like nuts a little bit. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I, it's, it's, That's it's fair, though. Thing. Yeah. That's definitely going to be a hit or miss for a lot of people since it's so different. Mm -hmm. Axel time. Oh, wait. Uh, the characters on the tier list are in the order of um, them on uh, oh, the, that's pretty sick. the list. So that's pretty nice. That's awesome. Are you ready? Yeah. You're gonna so hate me for lie. this one. I I, I think it's kind of a bop. I hate it. It's my least favorite. I okay. So I, I I'm gonna eat my words because I was just talking about how Maze is monotone. That's but the reason Axel, I can't do it. Axel's is a monotone that I can get with. Like, I mean, it's got a pretty interesting little background vocals as well. I just yeah. it's so the same thing. Uh, one thing I do want to add though that I really like about it is on the last few seconds of it there's this little piano riff like this jazzy it's like it's jazz piano and it's got a uh, double bass as well and uh you hear that like yeah. the very last few seconds that yeah, can I... go somewhere that yeah, can true. absolutely go somewhere i think that has a lot of pot i think out of the songs we've heard so far i think it has some of the most potential you know what i think because of the potential i'm gonna put axel i would put it at d tier because i just hate it mm -hmm. i'm gonna move it up to c and like a high c solely on potential alone from that tiny last little part so okay so with it i with axel's theme i originally when i first heard it i i wasn't with it i thought it just sounded a little weird but the mm -hmm. more i listened to it i think i i think it's pretty nice as a, as a kind of groove that can... I, I think it'll feel good when, like, playing a match to it. That is true. That's something I didn't factor in. I think so, too. It just... Man, it's so repetitive. And I know we <laughs> only have a 15-second snippet. Yeah, yeah. But, like, it goes beyond just maze. And that is quite literally the same four words. And the same... Yeah, no, that's, you know the, that's the only thing I'm... I'm against is that it is like literally the same words over and over. This is 
this is just the snippets only. Like I said, like we can do another one of these for when the full songs come out, and Axel's can be at the top. Like, because mm -hmm. the thing is, that might just be like a bridge or something. We have no clue. Yeah, true. It, it is the name of the song, which is the only thing that scares me. But <laughs> yeah, <still>. that's true. <laughs> Alright. Chip. Ready for chips? Yeah. Oh, okay, right. I already know. Uh, we we know this one. Oh, oh god, that bass line by the way. S tier. I I'm not even no hesitation, S tier. A tier. Or Easy top, easy at the top. Um, so one thing I want to note about it is I really like the way the lyrics and everything fit into Axel's place or Axel's help, <laughs> uh, Chip's place style. Like it's like fl like fly like an eagle or soar like an eagle, fly like a tiger, uh, like be free and all of this. It's just very mm -hmm. kind of like wild all over the place. And when like Axel plays, it's that or God bless, help me when <laughs> Chip plays. Dude, isn't that it's the that one? Same and when we were playing Gushing Double Cross the other day, isn't that the one you said was Axel's theme? Gushing Yes, Chips it is. I, oh I got Suck a Sage and... Uh, but yeah, uh, it's super good. The bass line is super different, um, but it's nasty. It sounds so good. The mm -hmm. guitar in the back also, like, it's kind of underrated, but it kind of goes in a ton. Like, it's, it's fat. Like, what I like about this one a lot is the energy behind it, and I feel like this will yes. go really good with a match. Especially right. if it's... you are playing Chip, since he is so fa fast-paced as a character. Yeah, it's almost- I don't know if victorious is the right word, but it's like triumphant, almost. But like, not in like a- like a, I guess, more classical sense, but like more a, so like, like a showing off. perseverance type thing. Gosh dang yeah. it. Yeah. Never give up. I like it. That one's good. Uh, A oh. tier for me, but like, very top. I just looked at what's next, too. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Back to back S tier, in my opinion. Yeah, that's an S tier for me. Okay, I think a so lot of people could not see it like that, but I'll let one you take of, away. One of the things I really like about it is how full the audio is compared to some of the other songs. Like, yes, there's thank you. so much going on, but it all works so well. And yeah, it really does. I think everything about the song just works because it works for Potemkin. It's kind of his type of pace and kind exactly. of grungy, like. It's sludgy grungy yeah. but just because it's slow doesn't mean it drags on like even like though it's overall like tempo is slow there's still a lot of technicality going on in the background especially kind of after the chorus like when it goes off into the bridge like right here yeah but like That's... even though you know you hear all that technicality in the background the main guitar uh the notes going on are that tune mm -hmm. tune and just the vocals too like and so even, much power. Even the lyrics work. Yes. I, I, I literally think there's nothing wrong with this theme in terms of yeah. what um you know I'm gonna put over chips. I think I think it's that good. Yeah, I, this is my only S tier one so far. Mm -hmm. Um It's just it's so solid. I do think this is one that a lot of people might not put up here because they might be more attracted to some of the faster stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um But I think like if you're aligned with this one, and you can kind of like really think about it, it does nothing wrong. But it, it not only does nothing wrong, it does everything right. Exactly. Dude, so, yeah. what, what a blob. I, I'm with it. It's good. And I'm so glad it's called Armor Clad Faith. That's such a cooler name. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You know what the coolest part is? What's Even that? with just that snippet, you can kind of get a gist of the song. And yeah. like... Even from just that, you can tell, like, oh, man, this is pretty. This is pretty sick. You can get a snippet, and you can tell where it's going, but it's not predictable. Yeah. It, like, the full song still goes, like, a totally, like, different direction. Like, it's perfect. Yeah. Speaking of perfect, uh, Alone Infection, you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Jeez. 
Jeez, man. <laughs> I am struggling between Potemkins and Foss for being better. They're both S here for me. Mm -hmm. I One can say thing, that for sure. I don't know if you caught this or not, but I think they updated the recording a little bit for... Yeah, the vocals seem louder. Okay, so yeah, the mixing in general I think was changed. I think some of the instrumentals were changed a tiny bit. Yeah. Um, I, could, I could notice a difference. Um... But I, yeah, thought, okay, I thought I was going good. crazy, man. I'm so glad you <laughs> said that. No, yeah, um, I, I, I'm pretty sure it was. I think Foss... <sighs> I might put it higher than Potemkin, man. I don't think I will, but it's, I, it's, it's an S uh... I I think what makes it is the second half of the song. This is I'm totally biased by the second half. Yeah. Okay. That being okay, off that, that snippet, it doesn't. I feel like it doesn't do the song justice. It doesn't, but even with just the snippet, what we have is not only so like when he starts the chorus, he kind of has like you can tell all that sounds coming straight from his diaphragm. Like he's almost like pseudo growling it when he starts the chorus, mm -hmm. like right here. Like you hear that, like that, and then it goes off, and he almost like you know how when you're playing a harmonica, you like pull your notes. Yeah. Listen to the last note of the chorus, and you can hear it being like, like all of these are just being pulled. Like, there's a lot going on there, and like even the background. Like, I'm a sucker for double bass pedal, mm -hmm. so the double bass pedal and just like the instrumentals are super nice as well. True, true. Um, I'm gonna put it below Potemkin's. One more listen to the full version. I feel like that's it. Just whatever you listen to most recently is gonna be the best. Those yeah. two do like everything right in their own way. That's true. I, they're 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 both perfect for the Goshen character. Um, yeah, for sure. So yeah, I, I'm noticing a theme with uh, the 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 Goshen themes that match with the character the most are the ones that we generally rank pretty high. Except I guess I didn't rank Mesa high, but whatever. That 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 one's different. So it makes May, sense. May though. cheats. May always choose. Just... Well, hey, that fits. That literally fits even more. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Uh, millions. The... Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. No Pause. And that is the part that I, gives me a lot of hope for that song. I even think the first part's really nice. Yeah, I think the first part really cool, waves. But that second part makes yeah, me really part. interested to see where it goes. Okay, listening to that is actually going to make me take Maze down uh, <laughs> to B. Because I feel like Milia takes a different... Uh, I mean, it's a different vocal. You know, we never really yeah. see too many female vocalists in Guilty Gear. Yeah, true, I can, that that I am putting borderline S tier. I'm gonna put it A tier just because what we're dealing with in S is so good. Mm -hmm. But like, I I feel like even like if we watch the video again, when it does the first chorus, like the Paramount or Paramore sounding part, it like it flows in these waves and then like does these little short jumps as well. And I think that fits with like how Millia plays as a character as well. Like like just watch the animation. <laughs> See how it just fits? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, like you said, just the absolute chaos. Yeah, I'm I'm with it. I, I'm, That's I, super good. I'm digging it so far. I'm really excited to see where it goes. Yeah. Uh, so, it's... I put Top of Bay. What about you? I also put Top of Bay. Okay. Yeah, sick. Well, we were supposed to be arguing on more of this. Stop... <laughs> I think May was our mo May and Axel were our most uh, controversial choices. I guess I think we've been agreeing on most of the other ones. Yeah. So are you ready for Zata? Uh, no, I'm not. I I will never be ready for this one. Just just get it over with.
Man, that chorus is suspect. So it sounds very garagey, you know what I mean? Yeah. That being said, I don't think that's the... Like, this is the edgiest character in all of Guilty Gear. I don't think this was the character they should have used it for. The only light I see in this theme is listen to the guitar chords in the background when it goes into the chorus. Um, I... Th <sighs> okay. I just in the background. You hear it sounds like a little dark? Like, that's mm -hmm. good. They should have... That should have been their basis for everything, but it wasn't, so... I... Um, if I'm being honest, I think it's a mess. Like, it j nothing just really works, in my opinion. The vocals yeah. are a little lame, almost. Like, even... It, I don't know. Yeah, I think... I think if you were to pick one element of this and base it around that, it has potential, but it's almost like they went in four separate directions and there's no synergy between them. They just, it, nothing meshes with each other. And I'll be honest, that chorus, there's nowhere you could go with that. Yeah. Nothing yeah, looks good with that. <laughs> this is these here for me. This yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a D tier for me too. I, there, I am interested to see what they do with this full song, because like yeah. I don't I don't really know what they could do with it to make it sound any better than what it already is. Because and not with in what a good we way. have, this sounds like the chorus. The chorus is usually the highest, like peak of the song, in terms and that, of this was the low point. Even exactly. that like weird part at the beginning was better, and like I don't think that's like. <laughs> I see it's interesting on its own, but it's not Zato. Like, Zato's not just some, like, like, man, he's edgy. Like, <laughs> it's not the same type of edgy. Yeah, I don't know. I None of it works for me. I, it's a yeah. D tier. D tier. Moving on. I... The only part I like is that uh, guitar at the end. All yeah. Right. Oh. Okay, so this is not it for me. Female vocals are, sound like World of Light vocals, which is a, a major downside in my opinion. But I think I, I think uh, the male's vocals save it a little bit for me, and I think uh, where it goes could be interesting. So I'm it's not gonna disagree with you there. It's not an absolute D tier for me, but I it's not amazing either. It's gonna be D tier for me. Um, I think the, I mean, the vocals are good, but not for what it is. Like, for a character theme that I'm gonna be listening to during a fight, it's just, it's, it's, it's weird. And I like that, but it's not like a good weird where it feels innovative. It's just not like there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The only thing I will say, my redeeming factor for this, and it's the reason I'm not putting it lower than Zato's, uh the piano. The piano part is actually really, really good. So just listen. I also think it's interesting that they're going for this waltz type of uh beat. Yeah. So I like that's the only that's the thing saving it from mediocrity like Zato says for me. Uh, it, it at least sounds interesting. Like Zato just does not sound interesting in the slightest. And the vote, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I put mine above Zato below Axel. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I put mine in C tier too. I it's inter like it's I don't I don't want to hate on it, but it's just it's not it. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll so, yeah. see where it goes. True, true. Yeah, yeah. All right. Leo. Leo's. Interested to see what you think about this one. Yeah. 
Man, it's almost so good. It's I'm, almost I'm, there. I'm but that, that chorus scares me a little bit. Um, I'm going to put it at the top of B tier. I Okay. It's, I think, it's I think almost the, A. It's a little... Yeah. I think the beginning part drags on for a little long. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't, I'm not completely with the chorus. But... With that being said, I think it's actually perfect for Leo. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting choice not to go... So Zerd, and I hate to use this as an example for a bad part about the song, because Zerd's uh, Leo theme, Stoles, is actually just one of the best tracks they have. No, yeah, you're... Um, <laughs> but they didn't go for a more like a royalty or like a triumphant sound. It's like a very kind of... Uh, what's... a they, they went maybe? for more of a warrior... Or not even a warrior, but like a gosh dang like... It's like almost like shanty-ish. Yeah. That I, I think it fits Leo's kind of yeah. like yeah. diluted sort of mindset a ton. They went for like a hero type vibe rather than like a royalty that vibe, which I th- yeah. think I think kind it fits of... better into Leo's sort of diluted yeah. mindset. I like that, it. Like it's means... it's good. <laughs> Go ahead. I was just gonna say like I think concept wise this one's perfect. It's just the execution is a little off. Yeah, so, just a little off. I put it. I put it C tier. I. That's fair. It, I don't know. I'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, I like it a good bit, so I put it above that. But yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Naga, let's go. Okay. Okay, so this so, is a, another one where I don't think the snippet really does the song justice, because I think I think all. the intro is sick, and, and the I, little guitar solo. Yeah, I I, it's probably an eight here for me, because um, so, go for it, go for it. No, I'm, I'm gonna hear you finish. No, um, I think it's a bop. I don't I don't know if it's perfect like some of the other ones. I think it's really solid, and it um, has that kind of referential thing going on with Come Together. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, go for it. I think it drags on, and I love that it does. Mm-hmm. It Because it, it kind of makes it feel like it has a lot of weight to it, and I don't know, that's, that's not usually something I, like, kind of get when I listen to music um but the way it is it just has a super kind of like you know those old labor chants uh, that they would use like on like railroads and stuff like all the folk songs yeah that's exactly it kind of has too. something pretty similar to that and mm-hmm. it just it's so sick it's i'm gonna put it i don't know if i want to say it's better than fly like it or what's the ship's called uh, uh be the hero yeah or play the hero, hero. Play the, I don't know yes. if I want to put it above or below Play the Hero. I think Total Song probably above, just the snippet below. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna put it above for personal bias. Um, it's that's about that's like probably the closest between two songs I am besides maybe Potemkin and Faust. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, it's super good, super interesting sound, fits Nago a ton. Um, yeah, it's. There's kind of not much wrong with that one. Yeah, I'm. Um, I agree. You ready for Giovanna? Heck yeah. Keep it real. <laughs> Okay, so, so another referential one. Uh, instead of "Come Together," it's uh, "Sabotage" by Yeah, Bruce. and uh, I, I think it's one of the more unique songs in the soundtrack so far, and I sure, really dig sure. it. I don't, I don't know if it's S tier, because I don't, I think it kind of fits Giovanna, but uh, I, the vocals, um. I think the main vocals 
are cool. The keep it real might be a little grating, but um, mm. I don't know. I I the whole song has a kind of weird vibe to it. That I kind of did. Yeah, for sure. It's a very unique one. It has a very unique flow. I guess would be a word to use. Um, mm-hmm. it's cool. That being said, it kind of I put it into the same boat as Souls, where it's not doing anything crazy. It just kind of it's making a sound. But for this one, it's sound I don't like quite as much as Souls, so I'm gonna put it bottom of B tier. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, the vocals are interesting, but I just it's nothing like it's kind of it's kind of bland. I'll be honest, it's kind of mm. bland. That's what I think. I can see it. Unique I, but bland. I I really dig the sound, and I think it it's is. It kind of puts you in a cool vibe when you're playing to the song because it was in the beta. We did play to it quite a bit. And what do you say? I swear, at one point, I the uh, it sounds like he says like uh, something about a vibe. <laughs> like I get a cool vibe. He, he I might. Swear. Like, he might. I could see it. Well, Is he not go. saying I get a cool vibe? Like, listen. That's what it sounds like to me. I can't unhear it. Yeah, I, I'm with it. I'm I'm all for it. Keep it I real, mean, man. Keep it real. Keep it real. <laughs> okay. Anji's next. Yeah, Anji. Anji. All right. I'm just gonna get it out of the way. <laughs> oh man. Uh this one easily easily the best. I I wanna hear your thoughts first, and I'm just letting you know I'm about to speak an essay on okay. this piece. So, so just to get out of the way, I don't know how well it works for Anji. That being said, I think it's a really solid song in its own right. I think it sounds really interesting. And I think the melody is really nice. And the gushing harmony uh, guitar going on mm-hmm. is really cool sounding. Um, I am very interested to see where it goes. I think out of the uh, new songs, it's probably my favorite. And, All right. Uh, yeah, just because it, I don't know how Anji it is. I'm gonna put it A tier, but I do, uh, re- I really dig it. So, this one for me, I really like for a lot of different reasons. I think the first thing is one thing that always kind of turns me off from certain ones are when it's too static. This one has between the bridge and the chorus, it's completely different, yet somehow like perfectly synchronized. Mm hmm. So that's already great. Like, even the start, like, it kind of goes through a lot of emotions. So you know, when you start out, um, it kind of has what does remind me of Anji. Because Anji, so, for context, uh, as you know now, the reason he's so strong is because those fans are the zest and it's one of, like, the pieces of the outrage. But the yeah. only reason he wields them is for curiosity. The only reason he does what he does is just to see, like, he's literally just what would happen. What would happen. So it's kind of almost a little... Uh, like lighthearted and happy at the beginning with this part and then you start transitioning into this rising tension right here and that perfect little chord transition right there into this and this part especially too with the backing like the harmony like you said just the yeah i i think this is a dope chorus this part too. This is the block, block, I don't know, he's saying like rage or something. Like that is so he's just saying cool. Rock parade, right? Oh, rock parade? Yeah, that makes sense. Still. So rock rock like it's good. I love by far my favorite. Sick. I think it it's gonna make me play Anji. Like I already <laughs> thought Anji was like fairly sick, but like watching him move like to this. Like, I know, mm-hmm. I know you said it's not an Andre's song. I will agree with you. Like, personality, it kind of takes a different direction. But watch the way it syncs with the gameplay. <laughs> this right here. Yeah, 
I will say the weird uh, guitar tone going on, like the kind of phaser type effect. Yeah. Kind of does remind me of wind a little bit. I think I think that's pretty cool. Gushing you like said a wind. Yeah, like a kind of like you know a cutting how, wind. You know how like with a fan, like a like an electric fan. Uh, yeah. If you speak through it, you get a kind of weird oh, phaser effect. That's yeah. the type of effect I see. And I, I think it kind of... It, I don't know, it kind of matches. Yeah, I, I like it. I'll, I'll stop there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have one more. One more. As the resident Eno main, I'm dying to hear your thoughts. I think it's solid. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's solid. I'll, I'm probably going to put it at the top of B tier. I think it matches her really well. That's one thing it definitely gets down. Yeah. Uh, it has an interesting sound to it. I'm not sure if it's my type of sound, um, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I do think it's pretty cool. Sure. What do you so... think? Bottom of A. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's cool because you know it's got kind of like that hard hard rock uh, just you know vibe. What I love that does though is it's not it doesn't settle in to a place. I feel like it kind of almost keeps you a tiny bit uncomfortable uh, the entire time, mm -hmm. uh, just with the uh, chromatics and stuff. Like it never really rests into one spot. See, I just kind of feels a little bit off. So I like that, okay, but the, the real reason I put this so high, especially, is this part right here. I'm curious to see where that goes. That's all I'll say. True, true. I really dig the harmony vocals. That's one thing I really like. Um, okay, I might, I might put this in bottom A. I think, okay, yeah, I have it next to Axel's theme. I'm putting it bottom A. Um, <laughs> okay. I, hmm. So now that we have all of them ranked, are there any adjustments you're making? Because I might throw Kai down to B. Let me play Kai's again. Uh, just to kind of make sure it's not getting old or stale in the brain. Alright. Confident in my placement. I wouldn't I'm not gonna add any tears. I feel like it should almost be an in between between A and B for me. I. I I yeah, it probably aligns more with A than B for me. Uh, any other changes? I'll probably put chip. Yeah, I think I'll put chip above Faust. In my in, in for my taste. Oh. Um Alright. I see. <laughs> I honestly I feel bad. I like souls, but man, it just it the full version better do something crazy. Mm hmm Cause you can't like soul just has this, this awesome character and awesome sound traditionally. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like it, there's almost something missing. Like, you know how we were talking with uh, how Potemkin's, like, it sounds very full? Mm hmm I feel like Souls is pretty empty. Yeah. One thing I do think it gets right, though, is a common thing with Souls themes over the years is that it kind of has a jammy type of okay, yeah. vibe to the kind of sound. And I think it does get that right. Yeah. That being said, I... Don't know if it. I mean, even 
I think it's kind of a common thing. Whoa, their partner. Um, <laughs> that. <guy. laughs> uh, uh, Austin Taylor is my partner. No there. God, Zato's theme is actually terrible. I, I'm just gonna say it's so bad. Keep it real. <laughs> Keep it real. Uh, yeah, Zato's the. I it just, it's not dark enough. It, like and Zatsu, like he's a pretty eccentric, eccentric dude. Like I'm, I'm not. He's not like just like oh, like pain. Oh, that, that's Raven. Mm -hmm. That being said, like I feel like Enos would have so... almost worked good for Zato. Yeah, yeah, you're completely right. I feel like uh, you know the part of Milia's after the chorus where it just goes ham. Yeah. I think that would have been pretty fantastic. True, true. Uh, yeah, what what he has right now is not okay. <laughs> that's that's for they're sure. they're gonna have to pull some pull some they not strain, they're gonna have to pull some freaking ropes to <laughs> pull that one together. And that's not even a disrespect on like the artist either. Like it's it's tough to create a different sound for each one of these wildly separate characters, especially after you've been doing the same thing for decades. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have some cracks fall through. This is just one of those cracks. Yeah, yeah. You you got you, you have your sudden lives. They have it. It doesn't mean you're a bad man. <laughs> it just means, you know, you can't you can't put out banger after banger. Yeah. Or else it gets boring. That's it's, true. <laughs> All right, well. Oh yeah, smell the game. Where are you putting it? Esther. Below. Esther? Below. Esther. Okay. Um Yeah. Yeah, I'll, kinda, I'll put I'll put a bottom S tier too. There's kind of a trend in my S tiers where they take very kind of wild routes, you know what I mean? And they they, they have some of the most different sounds going across the the, the entire song. Mm -hmm. That's also kind of why it's a little bit rigged because all my S tiers are full songs. Yeah, true, true. I've heard all. The only one that's not is Giovanni's, and that's because Giovanni's. <laughs> I get it. I get a cool vibe. Keep it rigged. Listen. <laughs> That's enough for me. Okay. It, yeah, I'm glad you're the, satisfied, man. I'm glad you're satisfied. Yeah, yeah that's what the color vibes of this, the song so far. I, I don't know. It has its place. It, I mean, it does, but I need more. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess our wildest, our, our biggest disagreements, honestly, well, at first it was May, but I think we're pretty similar now. I don't think May is. I thought it was really good until I heard everything else and I just kind of remember it's, mm -hmm. I think mean, it's all right. I feel like Milius could almost go up one. Millie is really on the board for this tier for me. Mi yeah, Millius is really cool so far. And I, I think has a lot of potential too. I Do you want to make another one of these when the full songs come out? Sure, sure. Zerd. Yeah, look, look forward to that. Yo, what about Zerd? Or uh, Axe Core as well. How, okay, how would we do those? Um, Just the entire soundtracks? Just character themes or like every song? Um, maybe just character themes, but we could throw in a few, like, like, I would feel bad not doing in a million Big Blast, city. Sonic, Heavy Day, gosh dang, all yeah. of Yeah. I mean, Divide My Heart, I love Divide I know. My Heart. But, like, and then instead of, like, listening to a whole Snack song, we could just, like, because, I mean, we've, we've listened to those a million times. So. True, true. Yeah. Yeah, the, the I one I'd be definitely interested in doing is X uh, Double Crosses, because I, honestly, I'd say Accent... Or gosh, dang, Double Cross's soundtrack was part of the reason I really got into Guilty Gear, because that was a, one of the first things I really, that that was the first part of Guilty Gear I really came to know was the music, and through that I kind of, I don't know, I just gained a really big appreciation for the game itself, and I, I yeah. think it's one of the most consistently good soundtracks out there, especially for a fighting game. Series as a whole, or just Accent Core or Double a, Double Cross? Double Cross. Yeah, it's. It's the early ones. I mean, I guess it's just all Guilty Gear ones. Is one thing I noticed is that like there's some that are so good, and a lot that I or some that I just find forgettable too. But I don't think that's just worse tracks. I think they just do a really good job at kind of hitting so many different like styles, but also kind of wrapping it all back to just that just junkyard metal like yeah, very like integral piece, I guess. All right, well there we go. Strive to your list. Well, yeah. Smell the game. Bottom Ooh, S, yeah. and that's it. 
All right. <laughs>